when acid meets skin, it can melt through flesh, muscle and bone. It can burn through ears and eyes. This 29-year-old woman was doused in acid following a domestic dispute. Her body will be scarred for life. This is her three-year-old son. He too was caught up in the attack. It's estimated that 13% of all victims of acid attacks are under the age of 13. This is a refuge for acid survivors run by the Cambodian Acid Survivors Charity. They recorded a total of 347 victims since 1984, but they believe many more incidents go unreported. The number of attacks they have recorded has risen over the past five years, 16 so far this year. Dr. Lyrapo is head of their medical unit. <laughs> There's no one reason for these attacks, but acid is relatively easy to obtain here. It's used in local industries such as rubber production or sold for car batteries. These women are being trained to sew pressure garments, a tight piece of clothing which limits the growth of scar tissue by exerting constant pressure over the wound. They're custom made according to body shape and size. <laughs> This six-year-old girl has been helped since she was attacked in 2008. Today, she's having her custom-made pressure garments fitted. Good girl. She was injured when five men attacked her mother. Three years and five operations later, this little girl is now at school. Like all the survivors here, they want her to have the best chance of a normal life. 